Okay, so let's take a look at the Photoshop CS6 workspace. So here we are. If you're familiar with, if you've worked with earlier versions of Photoshop, you're going to find that this new workspace is darker. If this bothers you, you can actually go, you can change it. On the Mac, coming on into Photoshop, go to Preferences, and you can come into the interface. You can do that in a similar way on a PC also. It's not in Photoshop, though. Uh, it's a different window. But I will leave that there because I don't think this will bother you too much. What I want to take a look at in this video is just a quick overview of the Photoshop CS6 workspace. Now, when we come into our workspace, we can come on over here and we can see that we can change, we can change it. So essentials, these are some of the built-in workspaces in Photoshop CS6. What's great too is you can create your own workspace, but let's take a look. Where this is set on essentials. So what happens here is we can see that many of the basic windows are opened. Okay. Now, if we were to come on in and change it to photography, we're going to see different windows open here. So we have the properties, the info, the clone. If you're not familiar with Photoshop, these windows might not make sense to you, but if you keep working with it, it will begin to. Now, we want to take a look at this little panel here. We can open it up and we can see that, okay, these are the windows that I have open. I can click and I can open up that panel. All right. Now, what I want to do right now is I want to open up an image just so we can we can take a look. Actually, but let's do a couple other. I click this right here and it closes. We come to Photoshop, just like if you're familiar with Illustrator, when we click on a different tool in our tool panel, we'll find that this window on the menu changes. Okay, so again, based on whatever tool we have selected, this will change. We have our menu up here. Our menu always stays the same. But again, as we work and click different tools, um, this panel right here changes. So when I, when I want to open up a file, I come to File, Open, and I have this folder on my desktop that has different images, Photoshop pictures, and I'm going to choose the one that is facing the proper way. I hit Open, and there we have it. It opens up, and here is my image. Now, one thing that's really important in Photoshop is we want to keep continue to check the resolution. I take a look at this image, it comes on in, it's in my background layer. I come on in, I look, here's my histogram. Uh, I can take a look at some other things. If I click on the channel, I can see I have this info right in over here. And there we have it. To close this up, we click this. Now let's say I wanted to open up a different window. Let's say that I want to come in, I want to open up my adjustments window. There's my adjustments window right here. Okay, what I can do too, maybe I want to put my adjustments window right on this panel here. Maybe I want to change the way that these all are organized. Well, I can do all of that. I can organize this workspace however I'd like to. Now, let's say that I want to come on in and I want to add another window um, to, to my workspace. Okay, so I come on into window and I want to add my brush window. So there it is. I click to close it and I can see here it is right in here. Again, if I wanted to change the order, I want to say, hmm, I want this down below. I can do that very easily. Okay, if I want to open this up, there it is. Maybe I want to even take it and bring it over and organize it over in here. There's lots and lots of possibilities. If I don't like it here, I can take it, drop it back in or, or close it, and there we have it. Okay. Moving right along, I'm going to close, oops, let's take this histogram, I don't, to me I don't want to see this, all I want to see is my layers. So I can see here is my, my layer now. The navigator window is an interesting one too. You can see we can click on the navigator to, blow, to zoom in, we can see where we are in our picture, we can zoom out with our navigator, okay? Another easy way would be um, learning the keyboard shortcut, we can come on in and grab our little magnifier right in here. Okay, let's check our image size too. We come on in image, image size. This is an important piece. This is a low resolution image. So when we look at resolution, this is 72 PPI pixels per inch, eight inches by five inches. It's only 640 by 426 pixels. So again, this is a very low resolution image. 
So there's a little overview of our workspace. Let's say that I created this and I like what I have here. Well, I could create a new workspace based on this. So I would just say new workspace and I would say photo Coca-Cola workspace. Maybe I want to keep working this. So I would say save. And then what will happen is I could come in and change things around. Now I could also delete that. I could say delete workspace and I could, oh, that's the active one. You need to delete it when it's not active. So I would come on in, change back. Maybe I want to reset essentials. Then I could come on in and I could delete that workspace that I just created. And there we have it. So an overview of the Photoshop CS6 workspace. We're taking a look. We have our tool panel, just a quick Quick um, review again, tool panel, we have our menu, we have our application frame. Okay, again, recapping as we select different tools, we see how this changes. We can always come on in and um, take a look if we want to turn our application frame off, we could. Okay, we could turn it back on if we like. Okay, I like the application frame. This is that image all around there. And then we come on in over here and we can look at, this is a nice way in Photoshop CS6 to organize our workspace and organize the different windows that we have open. Again, really getting ourselves familiarized with these little pictures and what they represent. So welcome to Photoshop CS6, and I will end there.